Imagine the smallest things in the universe, not grains of sand, but the particles that build atoms, electrons, photons, the fundamental building blocks of everything you see. We often try to picture them as tiny solid balls, whizzing around like planets. But the reality is far stranger and honestly, infinitely more beautiful. At this minuscule scale the rules of our everyday world simply break down. Particles can exist in a state that defies all common sense, a state known as superposition. It's a concept so central to quantum mechanics that it underpins everything we know about the subatomic realm, from the way stars shine to the very chemistry that makes life possible. Many people try to explain superposition with a simple analogy. They say it's like a spinning coin. So, what is superposition if not a spinning coin? Let's try another way of thinking. Imagine a single musical note. When you play a C on a piano, you hear just that one note. But now, imagine playing a chord, a C A G at the same time. You aren't hearing C or G. You are hearing both simultaneously, blended into a single richer sound. Superposition is a bit like that chord. A quantum particle like an electron isn't just in position A or position B. It exists in a combination of both A and B and honestly countless other possible positions all at once. It's a wave of possibilities. This wave isn't just a metaphor, it's a mathematical reality. Every particle can be described by something called a wave function, which is essentially a map of all its possible states. Before we look at it, the electron isn't a single point. It's smeared out across space, its existence distributed among all the places it could be. Let's return to our flawed spinning coin. The core problem is that a coin is a classical object. It obeys the laws of physics we see every day. Even while it's spinning it has definite properties, it has a specific mass, it has a specific orientation at every nanosecond, it has a specific side that is facing up even if it's changing rapidly. If you had a super high speed camera you could freeze any moment of the spin and say right now, it's heads up. The outcome is determined by physics, the initial force. The outcome is determined by the spin. The outcome is determined by air resistance. The uncertainty is only in our knowledge, not in the coin itself. A quantum particle in superposition is fundamentally different. Split screen, coin, versus a shimmering cloud of probabilities. It does not have a hidden definite state. It's not an electron secretly at position A. It's not an electron secretly at position B. The very property of position is not defined until we measure it. This is a crucial distinction. The coin state is unknown. The electron state is indefinite. The true nature of superposition allows for phenomena that seem like magic. One of the most famous is quantum tunneling. Because a particle exists as a wave of possibilities, part of its wave can extend through a barrier that it classically shouldn't have enough energy to overcome. Imagine throwing a tennis ball at a wall, it will always bounce back. But if that tennis ball were a quantum particle, there would be a tiny non-zero part of its probability wave that exists on the other side of the wall. This isn't just a theoretical curiosity, the sun shines because of this very effect. The immense pressure and temperature at the core of the sun are still not quite enough to force hydrogen nuclei to fuse together in the classical sense. They are repelled by their positive charges, but because of superposition, their wave functions overlap, allowing them to tunnel through that repulsive barrier and fuse, releasing the enormous energy that powers our solar system. Without the strangeness of superposition, the stars would not ignite, and we would not be here. Understanding superposition is therefore not just an academic exercise. It's the key that unlocks the door to a deeper reality. It has led to technologies that are changing our world. And now, we are on the cusp of a new technological revolution with quantum computing. These machines will harness superposition directly, with quantum bits existing as both zero and one at the same time, allowing them to perform calculations at speeds unimaginable for any classical computer. The world is far stranger and far more wonderful than it appears.